Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. A design trend I've noticed a lot lately are rounded corners on images and other objects on a website. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create that look for a collage image block in Squarespace. We're going to use a very simple border radius code, and I'd love to show you how this works because there are a few different values that you can use to make this magic happen. So let's hop on into my demo site and get started. So here we are at my Squarespace 7.1 website. These codes will work in any version of Squarespace. So if you're using an older version, don't worry, it'll still be the same code. Scrolling down here, I have a collage image and I've got text inside this text box. This is what we're going to curve using a little bit of CSS. If we hop into edit mode, I'm going to double click on this image. And under design, this is where you can see I've selected collage. Now you can change which direction the image is on, the left or the right, but corner radius down here will adjust the curve of the image corners, not the text box itself. So let's go ahead and change this to 20. That'll bring it in by 20 PX on the corner of the image, not the text box. For the text box, we need to use this selector for CSS. I'll go ahead and save our changes and we'll navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. Using that selector, I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and I'm gonna say border radius 20 PX. And check it out, we've now curved in the edges of that collage text box to match the curved edges of the image. Pretty cool, right? Now I strongly recommend using PX instead of percentage. PX is an absolute value, so it'll be the exact same on all corners. If we use percentage, the border radius will pull in the corners 20% of the width and the height so it doesn't look proportionate because it's not a perfect square. PX will keep that border radius curve proportionate on every single edge. Now, before we call this tutorial done, I did want to mention one other type of image that has a special text background, and that would be the overlap title background. If we use this selector, we can give a border radius to that background too. Check it out. Now it's curved in 20 PX for each corner. Now, whatever you decide to do with your code, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And there you have it. That code that I just shared is listed in the description below. And now that you know how to customize it, I hope you have fun applying this to your own Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment below and definitely subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.